actually what we would like to do, what we are promoting right now is really introduce the reuse aspect of it and this is going to bring a certain number of benefits. One of them is that you know by producing something that is valuable we might be able to sell it and then generate a certain revenue out of it and part of this revenue can be used later on to cover you know the expenses related to sanitation in the country and this will also change the way we are looking at sanitation right now so Currently, it is considered to be a problem, but if we look at it as an opportunity, then definitely things are different. So, uh, yes, this is the kind of thinking we would like to introduce, you know, for the municipalities, for the entire communities to really take advantage of the nutrients, you know, that are contained in this waste, so-called waste, and really take that as a benefit, as an opportunity. I think a lot of people would be surprised to hear human waste referred to as a valuable resource. Is it a good compost? Does it need anything done to it to be used as compost? Actually, animal manure is already used and nobody is asking any question about it. So, uh, yes, it's a material that is you know, very similar to other uh, fertilizers that could be used. It has the benefit you know, of containing both organic matter and nutrients, which inorganic components cannot, you know, inorganic fertilizers cannot really supply. And given the type of soils we have in sub-Saharan Africa, this is definitely a plus. So I think we really need to look, you know, into that direction. It's uh, something that is sustainable, definitely interesting and but, useful. But you can't just sell people a bag of waste. What do you have to do to it to make it into a viable product? Actually, we have developed within IMI a, a process, you know, that we can implement that contains or includes different components, you know, and uh, through the processing, the waste, you know, original waste is converted into the valuable product. So, of course, we have some key elements in that, the composting or the co-composting when we are adding other organic materials. So, uh, all this, you know, processing, the different steps, uh, we also propose and encourage the enrichment of the product to make it even more interesting and attractive to the users. So, yeah, it's a whole process. It's a holistic thing. It's not just one single element. It's not, uh, it's not something that is, you know, I would say that simple. But when it is done properly, then it becomes simple. Now, I can imagine there's going to be a certain amount of public resistance to the use of human waste as compost to produce food. Do you encounter that? Actually, yes and no. Uh, in some areas already, they are using the fecal sludge. So this is true in some areas in Africa, but it's also true in areas in Asia. So there are some areas already where waste, you know, this fecal sludge is already being used. Um, what happens is that, especially, you know, the case which is very close to us in the northern part of Ghana, they are using it in a manner that is not necessarily the best. So creating some challenges, you know, for environment and also for the users. So what we are trying to promote is really the safe way of doing it. So through a clear process where we know, you know, uh, it's efficiency in removing the pathogen, really controlling the whole process. This is what we are trying to, 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 to bring, you know, to, to, to the light. But the use is already there. Of course, there are other areas where um, this kind of reuse is not necessarily the number one choice. But these are things that can be changed. You know, when people are educated, when they understand, you know, the benefits, when they are informed about, you know, the technologies, then it becomes easier for them to adopt and accept new things. So by using this process, is the health risk, the risk to, to, of infection of public health, is that completely eliminated? Yes, this is our objective. So we are looking during the different tests that we have done, we have looked at different types of pathogens uh, from bacteria to element X. So uh, we know very well how to control those contaminants. We know how to get rid of them and, you know, 
by the end of the day, get something that is fully safe. And this is something that is essential. We cannot promote something, a product that is dangerous or that carries a certain level of uncertainty. We really need to make sure that whatever we promote is safe and will not have further negative impacts on people who are using them as well as people who are consuming the products that are obtained from this product. So this is one of those approaches that, that's really a win-win across the board. You, Absolutely. You create a valuable resource, you solve sanitation problems, you can use that money maybe to, to bankroll improved sanitation. That's the idea, so it can be the solution to the problems we are facing right now.